So this week, a good friend of mine named Thomas Kearns uh, brought over a truckload of car parts. That sounds like a, a kind of strange thing to bring over to someone, especially since he had to drive about two, two and a half hours to, to bring it to me. But uh, he works for a company called DPM Props, and they do uh, props for sets on film and TV shows, things like that. And he brought this all from a, a TV show that's actually on Netflix now. It's in the, I think it did three seasons. It's called uh, Happen Leonard. But apparently, all of this here was from a, uh, a set on the show called The Rocket Garage, or something like that. I've never actually seen the show, so I'm not entirely sure I haven't actually seen this on the set of the show um, I'd love to do it though I think I'm gonna try to check out the the TV show he said he, there was a lot more but this is kind of the salvageable stuff and he didn't want to just scrap it he didn't want to throw it away which I can completely respect so he said hey Windsor you want me to bring this stuff to you and of course I said yes um, unfortunately I couldn't go pick it up so he brought it to me um, I live about two, two and a half hours away from Atlanta, and he drove it all the way here, dropped it off, and it was, the guy's a saint. So what I want to do is I want to go through this stuff with you, and we're going to look at and try to see what, maybe what some of the best stuff is. Um, sift through what might be worthless junk, and then kind of keep, um, you know, what might be worth, not only for my car projects, my wasteland car projects, but also for art projects. You know, I do a lot of welding of like sculptures, like metal sculptures and things like that. So I figured um, this would be a good time to go through this with you and you can help me try to figure out what some of this stuff is because it's all over the place. And um, some of it, of course, if it has a part number, I can look it up. Some of it I know, uh, I might even know what it's to, but there's a lot of mysteries in here. And I haven't, this is exactly the way we dropped it yesterday when he came by. He just, we unloaded the trailer and we dropped it off here and this is exactly the way it's set. So we're gonna do this together and you're gonna help me. All right, let's start off with some of these uh, obvious ones. Of course, we have this carburetor right here. This is an Edelbrock, let's see, 1406. If you can see that right there. That's a 1406. This is a, I actually have a new one of these. Well. I think I pulled it off my truck when I bought it. It's a 600 CFM with the electric choke. So um, this is a, a really good, looks like the choke might be broken. Maybe the spring is broken. Anyway, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna diagnose every one of these. I just wanna find out what these things are and, and what I can use them. I can actually use this on my truck, on my 460. So that's definitely a plus. Lots and lots of brake rotors. This one, um, these don't have parts on them, so they're really hard to tell what they're for. This looks good though. Like this looks like something that can be used. So I'm going to look up, you know, a four lug pattern and uh, and this diameter. I can look it up and see what this goes to. Probably a Honda or Toyota. Oh God. This is a <laughs> intake manifold from a. It looks like oh, it's a Ford V8 with a four barrel. So this is off a big engine. Uh, well, not necessarily. Let's see, the, the firing order is on here, 1372648. That's, uh, oh, I wanna put that down. That's, coincidentally, that's actually for the Windsor engines, the 302, 351, all the way up to the 400, uh, the Ford engines. So this is a good find. This is something that I could probably use on, well, I don't, I don't have any 302s left. I had three, I had like three 302s at one point. So I'll save this in case I ever get another 302, or hey, when I put a 302 in septic tank, there we go, this would be for septic tanks. Although this is a stock manifold, stock manifolds aren't really worth that much because they're so heavy. Uh, most people replace them with aluminum, so that's why this is probably here. Got these little shorty headers, I love these things. This thing looks pretty damaged. Well, maybe not damaged, they might have tried to fit something in here. Uh, a little bit of customization, that's what they call that. Um, these are, oh, these are BBKs, okay. This is a nice, I don't know what this goes to. Maybe, this is one that maybe you guys could help me with. It says something on there, 245-5. There's actually lots and lots of these headers. And uh, not only headers, but also these just plain old stock manifolds. This here is a... Ah, it doesn't tell what it's from. Usually if it's GM, it'll say GM on it. I think this is a GM though. 
GM used a lot of these numbers. This is just a stock manifold. Tons of these. Don't know if I'll really use them for a prod, like a, a wasteland project, but I'm sure I'll use these for an art project. Witness me. Now this kind of stuff might look kind of useless. I think this is a bracket for a uh, an AC compressor. I don't know what it's from, but this might look useless. But I love this kind of stuff. You can always use brackets for something, especially with a lot of a lot of holes in it for for attaching random stuff. These are just worth so much. I love them. Oh, here's the other set of the shorty headers. This one actually, I think it's the same. Yeah, it looks like it matches up. This one doesn't have a tag on it. And it's not beat up like the other one. I'm sorry, customized like the other one. So here's the other side. This is the passenger side. Plastic. Here's another set of headers. This one is different from the other ones. Again, it's a shorty header. These are in really good shape. Boy. This is a small V8 though. It's, it's off of, uh, let's see, driver's side, small V8, uh, maybe even a 302, maybe even to go along with that uh, intake manifold. That would be nice. It's, it's like something is telling me I need to get a 302 in septic tank. All right, there's something here that I am digging down to because I need to get to it. And I don't know if you can see it right here. We gotta find out what this is. <laughs> Okay, this is it. This is, wow. It's beat up, which really sucks. It's got a lot of, it's aluminum, so it's got a lot of dings and everything on the, on the gasket surface, which really sucks. But this looks like a, a, a blower manifold, maybe. It's definitely a high rise, Man, that thing is huge. I love this thing. That's a big, it doesn't have any names though. It doesn't have any, uh, any identifying numbers on it that I see. No, uh, I don't know. It's just a shame it's really beat up. It's got, it's got some nicks in it. I mean, all that can be ground down and, and you know, resurfaced, but I'm holding on to this. And even if it's not something I can use, it's definitely a decorative piece that could be used for something. Ooh, it's heavy. Even for aluminum, this thing is heavy. All right, so what else do we want to dig into? Do you see anything else here you want to you want to look at? Now this, oh boy, that is, it's still got a barcode on it. It's not brand new, but it's, uh, it's not bad. That's a weighted uh, flywheel. I think it's huge. All right, now that I have a lot of that out of the way, let's look at some of the things that caught my eye. So we have this right here, this rear end, that's some kind of differential. It's connected to this frame piece, this little subframe. I don't know what that's from. Is that a... I hate to even speculate and sound like an idiot. Let me. Someone let me know what that's from. Because I want to know... I'd like to set up a uh, go-kart with that in there. That would be fun. Uh, a lot of radiators. Big radiators. Again, these would be... Um, I'll have to find out the part numbers. To find out exactly what these go to. There's another head over there. Let's see. This is no part numbers. That's a big one. It's definitely a big one. Uh, let's see. We have more more rotors. There's tons of rotors, rotors and drums. Tons of these things, and some of them are huge too. Like uh, I don't know where the huge ones went. Anyway, lots of heads. Here's another head. This one almost looks like a. Let's see. I don't know what that is. That's big though, that is a huge one. Uh, there's one underneath there, so there's another one there. AC compressor, which we don't really need. Don't know what we could do with that. I'll probably take it apart, see if there's stuff in there I can use. Here's a, another gearbox. That is a, looks like an insert for a, um, for a differential. Not sure. Uh, let's see, we have a harmonic balancer right here, pulley. It's pretty small. I don't know what that's from. Oh, look, 
another rotor. Uh, here's a head with, oh man, there's a G, it's a GM head. That's a big one. Uh, that, holy, that is a monster. 184-36572 is the firing order on that one. Let me know what that is. I'm not familiar with that. I think that's another GM. See, I'm more of a Ford guy, and just kind of by accident, not really on purpose, because uh, the way I was brought up. Here's a little, oh, little manifold. That's a cast aluminum, so this is probably a, a more modern, you know, Toyota, uh, Honda, something like that. There's a Chevy, uh, Chevy um, hubcap. Now let's kind of move over here a little bit. Here's an oh 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 oh. Look at this. Oh, it's, it's buried under heavy stuff. This is another high-rise manifold. Um, I don't think this goes to that other aluminum manifold I was looking at. Oh, here's a firing order. Let's see if I can get that in there. 1872654. Isn't 187 aren't those AMC? It might be an AMC, uh, I don't know. But it's a high-rise uh, manifold that goes off. Uh, it's a riser, so it goes off of the, the block a little bit there, it looks like. Anyway, another little manifold down there. That's a t tiny one compared to these other ones, but it's it's GM Hugger Orange, so that might be like a like a 305, maybe even 350. Another, that's a Toyota. I think that one, I think that's one we saw when we were loading them up. We didn't look at very many things. We were just kind of unloading them and talking. Uh, but one of them said Toyota on it, so that might have been that one. I don't want to step on this stuff, but I think I'm going to. Here's a grill. Well, let's see. Oh, plastic. Um, oh, a nice shock. I hope this thing still works. That'd be a cool little... Uh, I can see where that'll fit. I'll make some kind of cart. Put that in there. Uh, metal things. This is... There's a lot of these. These tips. A lot of them are brand new too, which is cool. That is a grill off of something. Someone let me know what that's a grill off of. That would be pretty cool in the front of something. Let's get a better view. Uh, another flywheel. A uh, fuel rail from something. It's kind of modern. Actually, that might be the Toyota one. I'm not sure. Uh, there's even a little Honda engine in here. A little um, XR2500. Little pull. Oh, it was from a uh, from a pressure washer. It says 2,500 psi. He said he had a bunch of these, but he brought the one that actually felt like it had compression. So that's uh, and I do small engine repair uh, for a job. So this is uh, this is right on my alley right here. I'll probably add that to something. Um, more exhaust tips. More exhaust. A uh, little rubber line there. Rubber. Now these are cool. These are let's see if I can do this with one hand. These are like hideaway lights. Oh, I don't want to scratch it. Okay, there's one over here too that we can look at. These are hideaway lights. The whole assembly, probably from a Firebird or something. You know, the the '80s Firebirds, '90s, early '90s Firebirds. Uh, lots of beauty rings. Those are small. Those are probably 15, probably 15 inch diameter. Uh, hubcap there, I don't know what that's from. All right, I cleared a few of the things off the top here so I can uh, continue to record with one hand. So I noticed, let's see, there's a, oh, that was loud. Uh, it says 22R tub. This is 22R is a Toyota engine. That's pretty cool. Looks aluminum, I don't wanna scratch it too badly. This, uh, that color right there was used on Pontiacs in the 60s and 70s. So that, those might be Pontiac valve covers. Uh, still has the gasket in there. But I love these. I love Pontiac. I love that color. Like that's one of my favorite. I had a Pontiac when I was growing up, a Grand Prix in um, a 79. And uh, this is a, these are all V8, uh, V8s though. Might be, I don't know. Might even be a 305, like a Pontiac version. Um, 
let's see, more manifolds, more heads. I don't really see, oh, there is a, another, I just covered it up with these. Man, I'm running out of places to put things. I've basically piled things up into the geo up there. This is a nice uh, muffler down here. It says GM, GM Performance Parts. Some kind of probably a big truck muffler or something like that. I always love fans. Still has the clutch attached, but I love, ugh, I love fans. I have a lot of fans. No. Oh, look who came to visit. What are you doing? Oh, thanks. Oh, you're cleaning my elbow, thanks. All right, what else? These are actually in really good shape though. And you know, being that we're down here in the south, hardly any of this is rusty. I mean, it's got some rust on it a little bit, but you know, stuff's in pretty good shape. This is actually probably the worst I've seen, this little frame right here. It's not rotted all the way through, but it is flaking. It does have some flaky rust on it. So that's why I definitely have to find out what that's for. Is that like a, man, what is that? Is that like a VW or something? A VW, uh, cause it has the air cooled aluminum case. Oh, pistons. these pistons I can use for, um, for art. I made, we had an aftermath car show in 2017 and I used pistons for the, uh, the awards kind of screwed them onto a wooden plaque, like a, some barn wood, and made those. Uh, so we have a couple pistons. Oh, this is a nice pipe. Look how, look how thick that thing is. I'll leave the, that's what she said jokes to you. Got a drive shaft. This will be fun. Yeah, that'll be fun. It's a nice little drive shaft. I could throw that into something. Kind of cobble together my own little cart with a, uh, you know, between that rear end, drive shaft. Um, a couple of these things would be universally used, but most of them are specific. So there's definitely some treasures in here. There's definitely some savable stuff for maybe my own vehicles. Maybe when I put a 302, if I put a 302 in septic tank, um, then I can use a lot of the, the stuff for that. Maybe even... Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I can do with this stuff. You will definitely 195% see some of this stuff on the channel later in other projects. Um, but we'll see. So I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for looking through this pile of parts with me and trying to figure out what's what. Uh, drop in the comments if you know exactly what some of these are. And if I find anything that's really um, super interesting like once I start looking up the part numbers I will uh, I'll put that in the comments for this video as well and make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook because that's where I usually put all of my um, you know photos of stuff like this without even making a video I'll just throw up there on, on Instagram or Facebook so follow me there links are all in the description like and subscribe thanks all for watching bye